Hello everyone. Welcome to Get Python Code. Today I will share my experience about Cognizant Digital Nurture program. I will tell how you can become full-time employee through this program. And I, I will also discuss the syllabus included in this program. So please watch this video till the last so that you don't miss any important information. So what is Digital Nurture? Digital Nurture is an online teaching program by Cognizant which makes engineering students of all disciplines ready for IT industry. Every year Cognizant selects many colleges throughout India to start this program. This program will start in your 6th semester and end in your 7th semester. It works in the following model. This program has a set of some chapters and for each chapter you will have to see some pre-recorded videos and then commit the assignments related to that chapter and at last you will have to give a test which is known as micro certification test. They will also conduct weekly meeting for your better understanding of each chapter. These assignments or test may include quiz or programming questions or both and for passing in quiz or assignments or micro certification test you will have to get at least 60% and you will be given maximum of 3 attempts to clear this micro certification test. After passing in all the micro certification test you will have to appear for an ICT test which includes all the chapters and you will be given only one attempt to clear this test. After getting the result of ICT test you will you have completed your digital nurture base 1 program and now if your result is good then they will offer you to join digital base 2 means you are done with uh, you are done with digital base 1 and now it's time to go for digital base 2. In digital base 2 Everything will be repeated just like digital base 1 but you will be trained on basic of specific domain like java, .NET or c -SAR. Digital base 2 will be definitely harder as compared to digital base 1. After giving the ICT test for digital base 2 just like you gave for digital base 1 you will be called for a direct interview in Cognizant. And Finally, you will be assigned to Gen C Next or Gen C Elevate or Gen C Role based upon your performance in the interview. So, who is eligible for this program? Any third year BTEC student from any branch with at least 70% marks in BTEC till second year, 70% marks in class 12, and 70% marks in class 10 can apply for this program only if his or her college has enrolled in this program. This program will teach you Engineering Foundation, Web, RDMS, Programming in Java, Programming in C Sharp, and then Cloud. I have preserved the complete PDFs of all these topics made from the video lectures. This PDF is confidential, so if you want, you can mail me, I will give you after little payment. And my email address is given in this video description. Now coming to the advantages of this program. You will learn every technology from free of cost from scratch in an organized way. The progress will be tracked daily. This program increases your chance of getting hired by 75% as you will not have to face any competition like campus recruitment. Your interview will be quite easy. Every eligible candidate will be given a chance to get hired with maximum package of 6.7 LPA and minimum package of 4.5 LPA. The disadvantages of this program is that it will kill you lots of time. To complete this course honestly you will you may get very less time for your studies. Lectures may not be enough for you to understand these topics, you may have to hunt YouTube videos for understanding any topic. 
test in this program may be difficult to pass. So according to my point of view, even if you are from non CSC IT background, then also you are getting a chance to grab a grab Gen C next role, which offers you a package of 6.7 LPA. But at the same time, it will kill your lots of time. So better think twice before applying for this course. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Please like, comment and subscribe if you liked it.